Well, state troopers say thick fog contributed to a collision that injured two teenagers from China in West Jefferson County. The teens crashed into the back of an 18-wheeler this morning on Highway 90 near Nome. Their injuries were minor. KFDM's Leslie Rangel looks at how drivers can become smarter when they travel in fog and other hazardous conditions. Floating thick fog took over many roads here in southeast Texas early Wednesday morning. It took me longer because of the fog, especially um, coming through downtown. Um, it was on the road, so it probably took me an extra 30 minutes. You could see you know, an eighth of a mile ahead of you. It's been pretty foggy. The thick blanket was responsible for at least two accidents. This one sent two teens to the hospital. If you're in fog, there's no reason for you to be driving the posted speed limit of 65 or 70 miles an hour. Trooper Stephanie Davis says many drivers don't think about the dangers fog can bring. Fog makes you, gives an illusion of everything's in slow motion, which it's not. You're still traveling at 70, 75 miles an hour. An illusion she says drivers must not give in to. Those basic four things, you know, turn the headlights on, low beam, reduce your speed, allow for more um, space between you and other vehicles, and obviously, again, reduce the number of distractions inside that vehicle. Tips this driver from Houston says everyone should heed. We're all seeing and going through the same thing, so just be aware. I, I did see a couple of wrecks, so, you know, those probably could have been pre prevented. In Beaumont, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News. And remember, it's a state law. You must turn on your headlights when you drive in fog.